see everybody. Welcome on out. It's a pleasure to see everybody. I had to get some Oreos that stuffed in my face. I'm trying to eat better, but I said, hey, hey, how about I stuff some Oreos in my face right before I go live? <laughs> so here we are, ready to go. Appreciate you guys being here today, man. We're going to have a good one. Uh, look, we today's stream, I do not plan on playing Lost Levels. But with Charles Martinet and the news coming down that he's he's not going to be a uh, the voice of Mar anymore, I thought, hey, why not? Why not just do it? Why, why, why not? Uh, why not? So here we are, ready to go. Uh, well, you guys tuning in over on Twitch or Rumble or of course YouTube. Good to see everybody. Um, the question I've seen in the chat is, uh, should we do hard resets with this? Uh, that was not my intention by any means. So I, I will leave that up to you. Actually, let's start a quick poll really quick. Uh, hard resets. Yes or no? Very simply. Hard resets. So you guys can vote at the top over on YouTube uh, at the top of the chat. You guys over on Rumble, you guys can just let me know. Insidious mm -mm -mm. Bliss, welcome on out. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? No, we are, we are good. We're live over on Rumble. Yes, we are. Good, good, good. We are live over on Rumble. Excellent. Okay. So, um, yeah. You guys, fire away. What's going on with this? Let's see. It should be working. Are you not working? No, I guess not. Let's, let's try this again. Start a poll. Hard resets. Was not working. There we are. Let's try again. Are you working? There we are. Hard resets at the top. You guys get to be the, be the ones who decide all this fun stuff. Um... Lewis, how are you? Alex, good to see you. That Don Parker has joined us as well. Joe and CEO and Henry and Static Blue. What's going on, guys? Cage and Corey has hang is hanging out with us today. Great to see you guys. Um, I have not played this version of The Lost Levels. You guys know that uh, The Lost Levels was a uh, game that I first played during the Mario Funathon. The Mario Funathon is now uh, complete, but uh, here we are. I, I thought this today would be a good way to tie this in, man. Lonely Gooba says, uh, Bet you get through it quicker this time. I I, th I think so. I think so. We'll see. But you guys get to vote at the top. Uh, Dan says the ver this version of the game is more forgiving. You're more than capable. Okay. Cool. Good. 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 But uh, feel free to vote at the chat. Uh, vote at the top. I'll give you guys uh, just a couple more seconds to vote at the top if hard resets are allowed. Um, <clears throat> dude says you are insane letting people decide because they might get you stuck for a while. Insidious Bliss says, you know my vote. <laughs> you know my vote. Well, we'll see. Will, I, will this be the thing that <laughs> I play Lost Levels forever? <laughs> oh, man. Cage Corey says, took me a few years to beat this version as a kid. Well, I, like I said, I never actually played this version uh, at all. So, mm -mm. Purdue, what's going on with you? How are you? If you guys wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button while you guys are uh, just popping in as well. Uh, glad you guys are here. Heretic says, should be allowed hard resets until the alphabet levels. Oh, that's right. There are the alphabet levels on this. How does this work? I forgot how this works. The, the Okay, there's the alphabet levels here, which we didn't get to. Those are bonus in this, right? How does that work? Huh. Okay, well, how, how to get, let's see, alphabet letters, alphabet le levels, Mario lost levels. Hold on. How does that work? Uh, well, it says you just unlock all the secret worlds just by playing through the game normally. Oh, really? Okay. 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 So if I just play through like one, one, because yeah, you got to remember, I don't know where the warps are. I only played through this 1-1 one, one through 1-8, uh, so. Kitchen Corey says, beat the game once for the alpha level. Beat the game without issuing without issuing warp for, for World 9. Okay. All right. Well. All right. You guys are, uh, okay, sounds good. I guess we'll add, add it. You guys have voted. Uh, it's kind of a landslide. 68% of you say hard, say, uh, hard resets should be allowed so we'll go to end right there and say 68 percent but if you guys just pop it in thank you very much for being here 68 percent say hard resets should be allowed 
then we will allow for hard resets. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do we start with where we ended last time, which is 250? I'm guessing. I'm guessing, yes. Um, all right, let's 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 start there. I think that's logical. Oh man, all right, hard reset. We'll start at 250. From this, and once again, I, I'm gonna play through this. <clears throat> and, um, well, we'll just kinda see what happens. Let's, oh, hold on, oh, I'm moving myself around, hold on. Don't wanna do that, let's see, there's grab you. Bring you over here, that's a thing right there, and pop you up. Hard reset, I can't believe I'm allowing this again. We are dumb, all right. <sighs> all right, dude says, on last levels, you get them by beating World 9 and the, and the, and the All-Star versus, okay. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Let's let's play this. I legitimately, I, I'm sure this is gonna come back to me pretty quick, but um, I guess should we go the Luigi? I guess we're going Luigi again, huh? All right. Do, wait, you get five five people on this? Didn't I start with three last time? There we go. Does he have the big jump? He does have the big jump. No, it's not a big. Well, he has he has the big jump here, but. Oh no! This is gonna suck. Let me tell you why it's gonna suck. This is what I was afraid of. Oh no! Okay, when you jump. Okay, this is not. Ah! Okay, here it is. When when you hit a jump in the original Mario Brothers. In the NES, what happens is you jump and you would bounce back down. In this game, for some reason, for some reason, you continue your jump through through the uh, the top here. Check this out. See how I see how I continue on through? I jump through it. That is not 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 that's not right, dude. That's messy. That's messy. Get him! Ah, uh, get him! Yeah, I was going for that extra one. All right, that's messy. That's really messy. That's gonna mess mess things up. Dan says there's a slight difference in the physics. There's also a save feature. Save feature. All right, all right. That's that's good, I guess. All right, we got we have a save feature for the first time. Remember, I was blowing through this last time. The, the problem with this is it's going to be, this will legitimately be hard uh, to remember just get, honestly how, what each level is. This is definitely going to be a reach, um, be a um, learning curve of relearning this for sure. Razor, Florida man, what's going on with you? Oh, we got Echo in the background. Oh, I, I don't, speaking of, oh no, there, it's exact, that's exactly what I was talking about. A perfect example, I should bounce and come, oh no. My Mario physics are out of whack. Majorly out of whack. I'm gonna have to stay small. I gotta stay small. That was a perfect example of what I was talking about. Oh, golly. Cheese and rice, man. Ah! Oh! Criminy. All right, let's go down here and get this. I feel like he bounces high too, right? Oh, I thought there was for sure gonna be something there. Once again, I, I'm. The, there's a lot messing with me, man. Yeah, so we're not doing warps. Or at least I don't know. I don't really know where the warps are. So we're just gonna play through. I, I guess we'll try to get to the alphabet levels for the first time. Dude says, are hard resets going towards the Mario Funathon stream levels? Well, the Funathon is is over. Uh, I didn't anticipate that at all. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of be honest about it. The uh, Funathon should be complete at this point. I'll tell you, the backgrounds and stuff here are a little messy. Those are different. I understand, like, as 
once again, as a kid, never played this, right? Never played it. And this would have been, like, pretty jaw-dropping as a kid. Oh! Blue shells. Oh, God! I looked up. Sinclair says, the fun, the fun of thought never ends. <laughs> oh, man. The fun of thought never ends. Well, we'll see. That was a, that was a poor jump. The first, I mean, I'll need to go back and look at look at my previous runs of this game. Because I'm getting, like, reacclimated to it, you know? And the first time I, I, like, the final time I was running this was pretty brutal. Silver X says, Super Mario Wonder will, will guarantee the fun of time continues. Well, that was, I mean, listen. The, the, yeah, Mario Wonder will be is like the uh, final piece, I guess, of the Funathon, in that that was the last promise that was made. Was a complete, was a uh, playthrough on the, on the opening day of it being released, which I am very excited about. Com, how are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Slight, slight physics. Dude, listen, Dan, when you're dealing with Mario, slight physics is big difference. Oh, does he bounce back? Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, wow, that's interesting. He actually takes the hits. Eric says, I've missed, I missed watching Craig play 2D Mario. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys have popped in. Lucio says, well, if you go back to do Mario Sunshine, the Funathon won't be over. Man. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Like what, these these levels look different. So they. Uh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to get. Oh, okay. Whew. These levels look different because obviously they didn't have a backgrounds in the uh, in the first one. That, I'm telling you, that's gonna be a that's a game changer. Game changer. Super Brooklyn Knight says we still want sunshine. <laughs> like guys, I told I told you guys, it's not that like. Oh, that's interesting. Look at those. Uh, look at the sprites. How you how the water just kind of ends below here, on each side of the pipe. I see. I see. The thing is, like, I enjoyed my day with sunshine. I I did. But don't you want me to enjoy my time with sunshine, right? Surely you do, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Get out of here! All right. Well, it's good to be back playing the old 2D stuff. Ugh! Trying to rem <laughs> remember all these little things. All right, let's, let's do the bounce. Nope, okay. Somebody else I was thinking it was gonna be like a three one world setup here with all the with all the one ups, but that is not the case. Dan says, Craig, in this version there there will be sounds that tell you if, when you when you go the wrong way in the maze castles. Alright. Well, I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me once again. Oh god. Should I mean dare I? Count levels from this playthrough and this playthrough only towards the Vonathon levels. Dare I do that? We finished at 149 levels. I mean, once again, I did not anticipate it, but you guys are you guys are ultimately the boss here. That's a, that's a one-up opportunity on blue. I'll put the chat up. We'll do that. Okay, there we go. And we got that right there. Remember that? Remember that? There we go. Heretic thinks we should.
And the one up. Let's go. All right, nice. We have a, we have a pretty good amount of lives. <clears throat> Chess says, just tuning in. I thought the Funathon was over. Yeah, well, so I, I played this today as like a nod to to um, to Charles Martinet being done playing Mario, just because and I, you know I kind of want to do this anyways. But now now the uh, the general thought is, hey. How about you add these levels? Add the levels. Let's see. To the uh, to the Mario Funathon. Okay, I'll tell you what. You guys are the boss. Add any levels to the Funathon total. Okay, I'll let you guys decide. Ultimately, it's on you guys. As always, you guys can vote at the top over on YouTube. <clears throat> Once again, I'm talking about only... Like, this is it, right? This playthrough. This, like, when I'm done playing Lost Levels here, it's done. We're, okay? Whoa, oh, gosh. Yo. Right now, it's, it's an even bigger landslide at 96%. But... You know, it could be, we could add a total of zero levels to the playthrough. <laughs> if, I, if I just beat it here. Oh, that's good. Dan says this is easier too. So if Dan says it's easier, then it's good. But vote away, vote at the top. And while you guys are doing that, since you're already uh, voting, um, hit the thumbs up button. Silverback says, I say we hard reset this until Wonder comes out. What? Are you crazy? No. Why well, should have died there? Oh, I saw! What a save! What a save! Oh, I thought I was going to die. All right, this is down here, if I recall correctly. Oh! Yo! Crap. Okay, now we're trying. Now we got to remember these things. Now we got to remember. Shoot. Dan says the physics are off a little bit in this game, just a little bit, which I've been able to tell on some jumps, but I don't know about how they look and they work on when it comes to this. Bounce up there, fire. Go, fire, go. Oh, wait. And go. There we are. Excellent. Oh! Ooh. It's kind of tight. Holy smolies. The physics are off. Are you going to blow that fire at me? Oh. Go blow that fire at me? Oh. Yup! Yeah! Woo! Oh my god. I don't think it was his Mario Groundhog Day. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh. Slagan Anders says, questionable correctegrity. Do not, do not question my correctegrity. You guys know this. All right. We will count any and all levels beat at the bottom of the screen. Look at that little goo. Hey, this cute. Towards the... Mario Funathon. Once again, when I'm done playing the lost levels, it's done. We're done. All right. So we're at 149. Oh, gosh. oh that's good. New good. New good. <laughs> oh god, I. These levels look so different. Okay, that, I remember that now. Bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, yeah, buddy. Whoa, sh God, the triple whammers. There it is, get up there, yes, I remember that. I think it was just might as well play the Mario RPG remake. Well, listen, we've, we've established that uh, the Mario RPG is not gonna be a very good fit for what we're doing here. Up. Ooga. 
Oh, no, it's right. I remember now. Don't skip because it. There we go. Then it says, you guys made Craig hate Mario. No! No way! I love Mario. It's too much fun. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna count everything towards, towards the Mario Funathon, we should probably add the um, Super Console X's back into the mix. Look at that flowy background. First time, once again, first time seeing this. The uh, shading back there. So many colors. I will say this: it doesn't suck you down. I, that's a, that's the first my first notice about these swimming levels. They don't suck you down as hard, which is a big plus. So is, is this version of the game considered to be easier? Oh man! Stop sucking. There we go. I'm gonna keep on moving. Don't worry about those. We'll get, we'll get plenty of plenty of coins later. Cool. Oh, I thought I was gonna be making make my way through there. Woo, man. Mm -mm. That up, Parker says. To be honest, forgot, forget about us. Enjoy playing the RPGs. <laughs> hey. Nutty Pirate says we're featured right now over on Rumble. That's nice. Well, you guys, uh, you guys popping in over on Rumble, welcome on out. Hello. Welcome, friends. Uh, make, make sure you guys hit the follow button. My name is Craig. I am a part of a brand called Side Scrollers. We like video games. We also like playing games. <laughs> we, have a, we do a podcast every day at 11 a.m. Central Time. And uh, then afterwards, we come and play video games. So if you guys are uh, popping in from Rumble, welcome on out. I'm playing this old, the old stuff here. Uh-oh. Only Goomba over on YouTube says, I think it's considered easier due to, the, due to the level unlock requirements and save feature. Not sure about anything else. Ah. Well, if you guys are popping in, like Dr. OK says, or up on the front page, that's great. We welcome all new friends. So uh, that, that's that's great to hear, man. Folks at Rumble have been really, really great to us. Always like to say hi to you guys, so I just encourage you to say hi back. That's all. So a little bit of background for those of you guys just tuning in for the first time. I just did this thing for the, it's called the Mario Funathon. Uh, I played Mario games, which was supposed to be for like, you know, two weeks, and it ended up being three months. This was a game that um, was just an absolute pain in my patuki. All right. Um, this game called The Lost Levels, and it is notoriously hard. I played the Nintendo version, the old NES version of this. Oh no, I started to get under it. And uh, in doing so, uh, it took forever to get through. It's very, very hard. And. Uh, we had these things called hard resets, which my community graciously supported, which would reset the entire game for me, which uh, I do not anticipate happening today. I never anticipate them happening. Um, but here we are, back at it again, mainly because our uh, our Lord and Savior, Charles, Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario, was announced today that he will not be returning as the voice of Mario. So we're going at it, we're going hard. We're going to play a little Mario today, because why not? Every time you hear a little, little, uh, beating, it's because I just went in the correct way of a maze, which allowed me to get to the end of the level, which allowed me to do this! Bam, there we are. Dr. Okay, welcome on out. First Amendment rights, welcome on out. Nutty Pirate, welcome on out. Dan says, listen to the sounds. Henry says, we made him appreciate the grind. There, there you go. There you go. See? Appreciate the grind, man. You guys over on Rumble, welcome. We have uh, almost 400 folks watching over on Rumble, which is great. Timothy, welcome. Man, let's get on that. You're right, we do need a Hadouken over there. Let me, let me clear that out. Let's see. Uh, oop, there we are. Thank you. Hadouken, explore worlds. You, you're better than that. You don't need to come and spam in links and stuff. But it's good to see everybody. Uh, for those of you just popping in. I, I like an active chat. I'll tell you this, Rumble 
typically not as active as YouTube. That's okay. More laid back experience. But if you, uh oh, uh oh. But for those of you guys who uh, who do like to chat, I like to chit chat with you guys. I'm not one of those guys who sits there and play sit there and plays games and, and ignores you. Like you guys are very much a part of what's going on over here. Ah, crap. Very much so. Nice. Oh, Henry's got some good news. The AC might might be replaced with uh, might be fixed without a replacement. That's what I'm talking about, Henry. Oh God. Good, good. Oh, that's platform Jesus for you. Yo. Okay, there's a secret up there I gotta get to. Oh my gosh, gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Not gonna lie. Pretty impressive. That was pretty good. That was pretty good right there. That was a nice little coin. Coin Haven here. Oh, get out of here. Let's go. Got a one up. There we are. Nice. But if you do like the retro stuff, so Wednesday, we, we do live streams like this uh, Monday through Friday, usually around this time in the afternoon. So you guys hit, make sure you hit the follow button. Number two, uh, we, in addition, we have like kind of shows that we do. Okay. I don't think I need to go up that. That's like a warp pipe. That's a warp that's bad. Bad. Um, on Wednesday, I take this young lass. Her name is Blabs. She's not good at video games. Or she's not good at playing the classics. So I make her play classic video games. It's awesome. So today, uh, this Wednesday, she's going to be playing Sonic the Hedgehog. And then on... Uh... Oh, jeez. Cheese and rice. And then on Friday, YouTube... Extraordinaire superstar, Dan Vask, joins us. Oh, let's go. Dan Vask joins us, and then we have a uh, thing called... Oh, that's another opportunity to get a one-up. I missed it. Um, the Retro Gaming Police. And we just did our first one the other day, and it was great. Dan challenged me to beat the original Castlevania. Uh-oh, uh-oh! On the uh, NES. And guess what? I got all the way to the end failed but this Friday we're flipping the script because I challenged Dan I'm challenging Dan to Street Fighter 2 man Street Fighter 2 and you guys are gonna play a play a big part of that as well but Jora what's going on with you how are you welcome on out friend isn't that awesome that we found that just purely organic how good to see you welcome on in Bane says this is awesome yeah man this is great stuff Nettie Pirate says, six months ago, Rumble Gaming had like two to five streamers at a time. Lately, it's been on multiple pages. Yeah, man, uh, gaming is a big, big priority for Rumble. I know that for sure. Uh, and that's that's great to hear. So, you guys just pop it in. I got 500 folks watching over on Rumble. If you guys are just popping in, uh, like I said, I, I love a I love an active chat. So, hit the thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind. And hit the, hit the follow button. We're closing in on 3,000 follows over on Rumble. That's huge. Why? Cause it's organic it's organic man that's that's big big deal starscream coming in with the ten dollar rumble rant let's go thank you so much starscream i'm gonna read this off in just a second hold on i got i got really important things to do like get this flower and then jump over this in this gap Starstream uh, says, took, took a trip down memory lane and watched some old episodes of Side Scrollers from the Screw Attack Side Scrollers archive channel. Could you do me a favor? Turn that hat backwards for old time's sake. <laughs> uh, I will not be turning the hat backwards because I'm 42 years old. <laughs> what? And uh, I got to be honest, at a certain point, the backwards hat doesn't really vibe very well. And I don't have a fitted hat on either. That's the other thing. This is a... This is a um, um, just one of those uh, snapbacks. House says Rumble doing numbers again. That's right, man. Well, welcome on out, Rumble friends. But yeah, if you know, some of you may may recognize me. Some of you may recognize me from uh, this thing called Screw Attack back in the day. It was fun. We had a good run, and uh, here we are, back at it again. Been back at it for just about six months, man. Six months now, and it's been good so far. Oh God, oh God, oh God. 
So far, very nice. Very nice. And I uh, got a great, great, we're starting over, man. Dan says, what's the official limit on the backwards hat? Okay, so here's the thing. I've thought about this long and hard, Dan. Oh God, Dan! Thanks, Dan. Uh, I thought about this long and hard. When you start developing crow's feet around your eyes when you smile, that's that's kind of like that's kind of the the thought of when when it's good to be done with said backwards hat. You know what I mean? Give me that. Let's go. Just just my thoughts, you know. Ah, oh, crap. Am, am I wrong on that? Or should you embrace it? Starts to That's fair. I can relate. Mm. You know what I mean? Because at a certain point, you like your eyes start to get like that's that's when you. That's why people get the that that like uh, the work done on their eyes. Oh crap! Because the eyes. Oh. Hold on. Let's go. Your eyes are what makes you look older, man. That's why people, like, you see you see celebrities wear their uh, sunglasses all day, man. Dan knows. He's a celebrity. Right? Look at that. Yup! Yup! Yeah. Oh, crap. It's a tough one. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Ah! Oh! Ah! Jump me, let's go! Let's go! Oh. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Uh, Joe says, okay, good. I have a couple years of the backwards hat. I don't think, I don't want to give off how do you do fellow kids vibes. Right, right, right. <laughs> and that's, that's really important. You don't, you want to avoid the how do you do, like the skateboard walking in. How do you do, fellow kids? Yep. Oh, man. I can't believe I made that. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff right there. Woo! Oh, God. I feel like I'm playing pretty dang well for, for not having played this in a long time. I'm actually kind of impressed. Henry says, that's the gif I used when I turned 40. That's right. I think everybody can relate to that. Oh, shoot. We're here. Oh, no! Crap. Mm-mm-mm. Starship says, the eyes and the gray and the beards. And we can't get rid of the beard because the turtleneck. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, I, you know, there are some YouTubers who still wear, like, backwards hats. And then I'm like, oh, dude, come on. Like, I was the backwards hat king back in the day. That's kind of my, that was kind of my thing, right? But, like, at a certain point, you go, okay. You know, all right, let's, let's just hold off on the backwards hat there, dog. You know? Now, now listen, I'll say this. There are times I still will wear a backwards hat at the house that's it only at the house never ever out in public never that's just irresponsible get up there there we go what oh no oh crap <laughs> henry says only when watching slam ball that's right only when watching slam ball do what will i dare Oh, we're in level five, aren't we? Oh crap! Is this the with hard resets on this. This scares me a bit with the with the uh, memeable world five loop. It's a tradition, like unlike any other. <laughs> God. Oh man, I think we'll be able to get through pretty quick. I like how they the those guys are pushing through the air. Like we're gonna get you. But yeah, once again, if you guys are just popping in over on Rumble, hello, welcome on out, friends, man. Rumble's a great place to be. Awesome place. Always love an active chat. My goal, quite simply, get a Rumble exclusive deal. How great would that be, huh? Wouldn't that be awesome? I think it'd be great. Be able to stream on Rumble, be able to say whatever I want. 
because I got to bite that tongue sometimes. You know? Oh, that's a one-up opportunity I blew. Crap. Forgot about that. Ah! Mm -mm. Get up there. What bop? There we are. Nice. Give me, give me, where, where are we at? There we are. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah, we don't need that. We're not going to take any of those warps. Oh, jeez. Just slowly remembering all these little jumps. There we are. There we are. All, right. all the way to the end. Nice. And Parker says, the party is here. Let's go. <laughs> hey, wait. Listen to this. We got the Mark of the Devil watching us over on Rumble. 666 fun folks. Let's go. Hey, if half of you hit that follow button right now, you know what I'll do? I'll be happy. I'll tell you, if one sixth of you hit the follow button, good things are going to happen. Like Joe Dirt said, good things are going to happen for me. Or not, you know, or you don't. And then you immense it, you know, like later today, you'll be like, who was that guy? What was that channel? I really enjoyed my time there. I enjoyed my time hanging out on that channel. Who was that guy? Who was it? And you won't remember. Same with all y'all watching over on YouTube. Listen, I get it. It's hard clicking that button. Is this me guilting you into it? Absolutely. All right, come and join us. <laughs> Chess knows. Life's a garden, dig it. Math, you know, I I'm promising zero bubble blows today. Oh, man, I didn't know they fell off that. Give me that one up. Let's go. All right. A zero bubble blow guarantee. I talked about this on Side Scroll. Yo! On Side Scrollers today, the podcast. <laughs> the idea of uh, kind of like moving on from all the nonsense and stuff. It makes me happy. It makes me happy to think about it. CEO says, I've been guilted. That's right. Guilt away, friends. Guilt away. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, yes, if you're just popping in. Welcome. Got a great community on every on every platform. Wapa. Wapa. Oh, that's good stuff. Level five. Here we are. Love it. Insidious Bliss and, and CEO. Popping in over here. There's dude. Let's go. CEO has joined us. Henry Davis. Insidious Bliss. Whoa. But YouTube, you don't be upset. Yes, we have a million more people watching over on Rumble than we do on, <clears throat> on YouTube. But you know what? I love it. I love it. You, you guys are, are an active chat. You guys are busy, busy beetles. <laughs> Busy Beatles over there. Oh boy. Off we go. Yeah, man. So, uh, level five, four. So, who is this guy? It's crazy. Ernie. Crazy Ernie's used car emporium. <clears throat> Henry Davis with a two hundred and fifty dollar direct donation. Look at it. 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 Ah! Killing, killing it. Sending us home. And now we start over. 
Are you kidding me? Well, let's see. Total levels. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's put you over here. That will put us at 150. All right. Do I dare add oven mitts back? No, nah, I'm doing that. All right, we got our first reset. Unreal, unreal. But as you know, the resets elevate. They escalate as we go. So there we go. Jeez, cheese and rice. But now, now I've learned the game. Now I'm, now I'm good. Let's reset it again. Here we are. Man, oh man. Off we go. Pain. Pain, they say. Pain, the, the children say. Every single time we're going to reset and do this exact same thing. Brand new game. Here we go. Uh, oh, damn it. How do I, do I go back? I can't go backwards on this. Oh, crap. Because I got to get Luigi. Henry says, it's an early TD celebration for my AC fix. Let's do what we do best. Make me hate Super Mario Brothers. Mm -mm. Insidious Bliss says, yes, Amir is unfinished business. We got to evict Amir off the wall. Got to evict him off. Alex says, watching Craig play, game, uh, play always makes me want to break out my old games. Dang. Dang. Well, thanks. Dan says, I'll just wait for one second. Dan, that's all it takes is one second, friend. I was killing this game. I was killing it. I was like, oh, you game's too easy. And here we are, back to level one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, green turtle. Get out. I'm telling you, I do not like this, this extra little uh, physics thing we have going on over here. Don't like it. On this game. There's extra physics. It means bonus physics. Bounce on back. What? Oh! Oh! Not good, Craig. Not good. You are one crappy Mario Lost Worlds player. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Oh, man. Let's go. All right. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Henry says 150 levels. Holy smokes! Yeah, I was expecting 10. I wasn't. Well, actually, I wasn't expecting any. But here we are, at 150 levels beaten. I said this, and I'll say it again. The J just to be clear, like. We're done counting levels after this game. Oh no! Oh. Stinking. That's ridiculous. Oh, double points. We're done counting levels after this game. Okay? So after we finish lost levels, any and all levels beat. Well, they're they're just, you know, they'll go towards something else. But, I mean, holy moly. Unreal. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Mm -mm. You know, one thing I've actually thought about doing, which worked really well uh, on the previous channel, uh, when, when it was the Stutter and Craig channel over on YouTube, one thing that I uh, thought that I, I think I'd like to do more of, because it's probably the thing I get most requested on, is doing some reaction stuff. Uh, reaction to kind of retro inspired stuff, whether it's screw attack or whether it's, um, you know, things that are happening online related to, you know, uh, news of people that I know or whatever. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more of that. I think so. Maybe I'll do those on the weekends and kind of queue them up or I don't know. It just kind of depends. Those are, those need to be kind of timely. So I think that'd be fun to do. I do enjoy doing those. Florida man. How are you, buddy? Over on, uh, over on the Rumbles. Always a big fan of the Rumbles. Rumble, thank you again for the front page promotion. We greatly appreciate it. 
Jess says, what about mitts and goggles? Yeah, I, you know, the mitts are something that I, I would consider. The goggles, those are really, like, I know it's going to sound like a, just a big old weenie. But they hurt, man. <laughs> those hurt. Those are, those are not something you should wear every day. <laughs> Man, my stupid noises when I play video games are dumb. Yup! There we are. God. Slag and Nanners said, you said I told you. What what you what told me what? Slag and Nanners. Told me what? I'm looking at the chat. I'm trying to scroll up to see what you said. Slagging nanners. Oh, hold on. There, there's the last thing he said. If you remember, uh, oh, okay. Oh, he says, if you, if you remember Griffy, Griffy Jr. and Griffy Sr. playing together, you're old. <laughs> right. Which I, I do not, actually. I do not remember them pl playing together. Ah, crap. Oh, the goggles, yes. Yeah, those goggles, they're hurtful, man. They hurt. But Henry is the one who set us back. Oh, man. With the hard reset. Today. One reset in. Elite Neo says, oh, God. The original Lost Levels. Now we're back for more punishment. <laughs> well... Once again, I wanted to play today just because I thought today would be a good tie-in to, uh, to with, with the news of Charles Martinet, right? Charles Martinet saying au revoir to the voice of Mario, and now here we are. I thought it would be a good opportunity. I mean, even though he doesn't voice anything in this game, it could be a nice tie-in, even though the fun is technically over. Oh! That was a lucky duck schistimus right there. What is that? Extra lucky duck. Nice! Oh, man. I didn't know that existed over there. Nice. Mm -mm. Terry says, and you're playing with Luigi. That's right. That's right. Well, once again, if you guys are just popping in over on, uh, over on Rumble, lots of good folks popping in today. Hopefully this little sampler platter has a little appetizer. That's the way I look at it. When you get, like, awesome front page promotion, you know? They're like, hey, check this guy out. It's like a, like an appetizer at a restaurant. You know, go in. Except you don't pay 12 bucks for it, you know? You get, you get it for free. Starscream says, speaking of Screw Attack, I know you've talked a bit about it in the past and wanted to buy it back from RT just to release the old videos for preservation. Is their asking price ridiculous? Um, it is ridiculous for, for what they've done with it, yes. Uh, I'd be very honest, they, their asking price is $200,000, um, which that is for the archive and uh, I guess the brand name. Um, I would love to buy it back, 100%. And, uh, but can, the, can Screw Attack, the brand right now, make $200,000 in the year 2023? Mm, probably not. Um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, but yeah, it's, they're asking 200K for it, which, you know, that, that's just one of those things that uh, when you deal with brands and big companies like Time Warner, Mobile, whatever it is, you know, major brands like that that own things they don't even know they own, um, they just put like a price down and it's like, like, why is it that price? Well, the price is that because, because of lawyers, that's why. Paul, how are you, buddy? Because it costs a ton of money to go through paperwork. That's why. Scarship says, how about crowdfunding? I'm sure you, I'm sure the G1s would be willing to help. So here's my hesitation with that, right? Number one, I would need to have something in agreement for that to take place. And it would need to happen extremely quick. Number two, I, I've thought about that actually pretty extensively, right? Um, Lonely Goodman says 200k is a lot even for crowdfunding, right? But here, here's what I thought when it comes to that. It's it's one of those things where you you 
I don't want to say it publicly and not have a deal in place, right? I don't want to be like, I want to buy ScrewTech back for $200,000 and not have a deal in place. Because if you, if you do that and then you take, take a bunch of people's money and then you're not able to secure the deal, well, then you're just messed up. Then, then you screwed everybody. I don't want to screw everybody up. Number two, I want to make sure that you get something back. And the one thing that I thought about, like my biggest concern with something like that is just making sure it never goes away again. So I thought that maybe you, you, gentle friend, user, G2, G1, uh, Rumble, average Rumble viewer, uh, you could potentially buy the content for personal use, right? And you could have it so it never goes away for you, right? Does that make sense? I don't know. Like I said, there's all sorts of ways. I, I mean, I thought through, through this at length, but oh shit. But the most important thing, the most important thing is that if and when, it, it never goes away again, right? And my thought is I want to buy it and I want to release it in the order that it was originally released in beautiful 240p or whatever resolution it was originally intended at. I think it'd be fun. Santa Parker says, do a UHF style uh, telethon. So here's the problem with that, is that that still costs a lot of money, right? So let's just say I is like, well, listen, I'm gonna spend $30,000 to do a telethon, right? Rent out of space, or even if it's online, right? That still costs money to do. Then you gotta tack that money on top. Oh, shoot, you gotta tack that money on top of the crowdfunding, right? You know what I mean? Which I don't want to do that. I want to do it as 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 affordable as possible. You know that that's the most important thing for me. So, anyways, good question, uh, and something that's like literally always in the back of my mind. It's like, oh, you know, you know, side scrollers is meant to be a spiritual successor to Screw Attack. Uh, and we'll get there. You know, but just like Screw Attack, it took several years to get there. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm not like, like, um, what about there? Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of where we're at. Paul says 300 people watching on Rumble. Yeah, man. Always, always love, always love, um, always love our Rumble audience. So, but yeah, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And I try to be as honest as I possibly can with you guys, you know? Um, but I think that'd be really, really cool to be able to buy it back. And, um, you know, it's funny. I had this um, I had this crazy dream the other day. I haven't talked to Tom in forever. I mean, like, forever. Years. But I had this dream with him in it the other day. Uh, I don't remember. I, it, it was this weird like hybrid dream. You ever have those like hybrid dreams where like two people become one, you know, and they take characteristics of, I don't know. It was weird. It was a really weird dream. Anyways, with all that said, I was dreaming about Tom the other day. So you can go make it weird if you want. <laughs> Just like when you dream about anything in your life. <laughs> oh. hmm. So yeah, anyways. I think that'd be super fun. And I don't know. It's always nice to have that conversation. Uh-oh. Let's come on back. There we are. Nice. Doc Parker says, Michael Richards can't cost that much. Oh, my God. Michael Richards. I would. Oh, my God. If I could hire Michael Richards to do a UHF style telethon, I bet he does cost that much. First off, that'd be great. If, if he was to, I'd be like, listen, you're Stanley Spadowski. You can do whatever you want. Like that, <laughs> God, that'd be the most badass thing in the world. Hire Michael Richards to come in and do a, do a UHF style telethon. Oh, come on. 
You know that'd be great. Okay, we gotta get all these coins here. There we are. <laughs> I love it. See, that this is how you guys get my get my wheels turning. I've been putting together like what I want the next six months for uh, for side strollers to look like. You know, we're six months in, I have like I have like actual analytics and data now, right? And by the way, like I analytics and data is great. But you know, like you I feel like I feel and know things better than analytics sometimes, you know? Um, so there's a there's a feel to these things, but uh, it'll God, it's just it's it's we're gonna be making some fun fun little changes in the next uh, next few weeks, next few months. So, what's up, Chili Dog? How are you? Pickle this Miguel says Michael Michael Richards in Transylvania 6500 is one of the weirdest, most amazing things you'll ever see. Really? What is that? And once again, if you guys are just popping in over on Rumble, you guys are getting a little sneak peek, a little appetizer, if you will. Of, uh, of the channel. Do us a favor. Smack! Oh, what? The thumbs up button. Or the follow button, first and foremost. Smack! Psh! Oh my god. YouTubers are stupid. <laughs> Says said YouTuber. Or Rumble. What, what's the name? We call, call them Rumblers? Rumblers? Does Rumble have a, an official term for their creators now? I'm a Rumbler. That'd be great. Rumble seems to be very um, focused on live streaming these days. Lots of lots of live streaming stuff. I know Jeremy from the Quartering. You know he has his uh, show he does every day. Cool. Whoop. There we are. And let's go on down. There we are. Starscream says, uh, with the five dollar rumble rent speaking of, says, Well, Craig, personally, I'll never let that one I'll never let that one go. You got to own that stuff again. It's your baby. I wish I could tell you that I don't feel the same way. And uh, I would love like I said, I would lo love to uh, eventually own it back. And you know, like I said, I, th I think it's one of those things where if I was, I'd, that's very important to me to, to like actually have a deal in place. Um, I, I have been in conversation with them like in the last month, um, but not. it's not like, you know, not like big conversation or anything. It's just kind of like, blah, 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 you know, just passing. But I could send a text right now and get a, get a heads up. So, you know, <laughs> I could, I could, could, uh, just see how things are going. So that's the, that's the one thing. You hear about like Dave Portnoy buying back um, Barstool for a dollar, right? Insanely unique situation, how that happened, right? Um, and that that's like so unlikely. So unlikely of anything like that happening. Uh, to where they didn't see any value. They didn't see the value in the, in the uh, cost anymore, you know? So, CDS says we need, we, uh oh, what? Oh, CDS says we need a lot more resets for, for 200k, <laughs> a lot more hard resets, right? Right, right. Well, and, and then on top of that, it's like 200k plus, you know, plus all the fees attached to Kickstarter and all that stuff, right? So, because you know who's not taking a not taking a haircut? The giant mega corporation that owns it. So. Whoop there we are. Nice. Okay. But I said, you know, we're, we 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 got we got a lot of other things to worry about right now. A lot of other things to worry about. There we are. Nice. Henry says, absurd, absurd price for squatting on a property. Right. Right. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. But, you know, once again, when you deal with lawyers, you deal with lawyers. 
No disrespect to any of the uh, any any G2 lawyers popping in today. <laughs> lawyers know. They know they speak that legalese that only legally that only lawyers can detect. It's what they do, man. It's, it's how they it's how they make their money. It's how they make that money, man. Mm -mm. Dan Parker says, um, I thought Disney wanted no, no, um, nothing to do with Portnoy. You know, I, I think it's, it's larger than that. Um, it, I mean, that may be it, but I think that it has, it has to do with, uh, the, just the, the idea that really what it comes down to is gambling. That's what it comes down to is they invested in Barstool pended to, for, for, for their reach right for their gambling reach their the reach of potentially uh, hitting a, an entire gambling audience and disney came along and they did the dis was it disney or bet or whatever it's called and that's gonna be kind of crazy to see come on baby come on bounce it back there we go got it whatever it's called they're, they're doing some betting thing and that's really what it comes down to is is there's a big opportunity with a betting market. That's why he was able to buy that, buy it back for a dollar. So. Let's go get all this. Nice. But it's interesting to kind of see, you know, with uh, brands like Smosh, right, being being bought. Kind of the perception attached to uh, attached to these old like legacy brands, you know. So. Hello, arts crafts. <laughs> you you got to be better than you can't just come in and be like, please follow me. Uh, -uh. no, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. You don't come in and please follow me. No, you have to give people a reason to follow you. Right? You can ask, but only if they're on your channel. That's it. You gotta give people a reason, my man. You can be better than that. You can do it. Come on now. Come on now. That's, that's how this works. Provide people with a reason. My reason right now is I'm exceptionally good at this game. And all the old school stuff. We got a great little community with conversation, all sorts of stuff. That's right, man. Oh my god. You better than that. You better than that. As a matter of fact, you better be getting out of here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we're back on world four. We got Hadouken right out of here. Whoopa. Oh. There we are. One more. Yeah. Oh man, slippity slap right on in there. Yup. Oh, we're in good shape now. Great shape. Look at that evil Bowser in the background. Alex says, "Get to know people first and ask." That's right. You don't just like walk up to people and say, "Can I stick my tongue down your throat?" You don't do that. You get to know them first before you seduce them into your. Lovely throat tonguing. Sorry, that was gross. That's actually a reference to. Uh, <laughs> that's actually a reference to a radio show uh, here in Dallas. Oh no, I knew it. <laughs> radio show here in Dallas. It's like an energy. You're not supposed to. No, no, that's assault, brother. It's amazing. Slagging like Nanners, you over here just, just, just slanging them around. You can't just slang your manner around, all right? All right? No more of that. That no Parker says, this is a great talk. See, listen, I'm here to teach life lessons here, you guys. Life lessons. <laughs> oh my gosh. Life lessons with stuttering Craig. Get to know somebody before asking them to stick your tongue down their throat. <laughs> D 
Get man, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna lie. There was a. Uh, what, who, who did that? Who, so, uh oh. Oh, look at that nonsense. Let's go. Uh oh, let's run it through. Yup. Yo. Yes. There was a video of it. <laughs> oh man, I gotta look through my timeline. I think I liked it. A video of this girl in a bar who who was uh, making out with this guy, clearly drunk, clearly. And they're like macking out, right? And it's like, you know, being taped with a phone or whatever. This girl's like going, this girl's going hard on this guy's mouth, right? Sure enough, everyone's worst nightmare happens as she just up chucks all in this guy's mouth. They both blow chunks out of their mouth from the... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's disgusting and hilarious. It's so freaking funny. I'll need, to, I'll need to show it to you. It's good. It's great. Good stuff. It's like Lou says, yeah, I saw that today. Well, just don't live it, all right? Just don't live it. That's the most important thing. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know that sounds funny. It's this poor girl over here. Oh, I need to get this. Shop, shop, shop. Oh, no. Oh. She says, no, don't show it. That's right. How says that polluted my timeline? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, you know. Oh, I mean, like, it, that. that is legitimately. If you're out at a club in your early 20s, and you're like, yeah, let's go, baby. Let's let's go hang out. Let's go to my house. Let's go to the we're gonna mack around for for whatever. You're trying to do your thing when you're a stupid dude in your early twenties. Oh what? Damn. Like, isn't that your worst nightmare? Like legitimately. Outside of like, you know, getting the AIDS. <laughs> I mean like just some girl throwing up in your mouth. Ugh. Ugh. Joe says, I don't think this is meaningful content. Nobody said anything about meaningful. Nobody said anything about meaningful content. Nobody said anything about positive content. We just, we just said, talked about, all, all we did today, Joe, all we did today was talk about not going down the vortex on side chores. That's all we did. And being good to, good to your neighbors. That's all we did. That's all we talked about. Got him, the double one up, nice. Nice, love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Elite Neo, the crying game. Yeah, at that point, the crying game sound effects. You got you got freaking Ace Ventura in the in the tub just plundering his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. My God. CEO says being good to your neighbors includes not vomiting in their mouth. That's right, but no, I'm talking about telling stories. <laughs> Dan over here, listen to this. Dan, depending on the girl, might be a worthy sacrifice. Dan, you just relax, all right? Jeez. A worthy sacrifice. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. There we are. Off we go. Don't do, that's just, oh. The things you see on social media. Now, I fortunately, <laughs> start screaming, amen to that CEO. <laughs> uh, I fortunately, like you, I've seen a lot of crappy things on, on social media, including well, we saw Amber Heard, literally Amber Heard's crap today on social media, which is something I was not expecting to see when I woke up today. But I have been fortunate enough to avoid the uh, the deceased. That's something that I, I don't, I have, I have less than zero interest of avoiding like that. 
Ugh. I can deal with people falling down. I can deal with people throwing up. I can deal with all that stuff. I can't deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. I don't like death, you know? Right? Like, I know I'm not alone by that. Right? Oh, gosh. There we are. My boy Rick is here. Everybody, Rick has joined us from over at Rumble. Rick, good to see you, man. Welcome on out. I want to let you guys know publicly, so I put Rick on the spot. <laughs> I invited Rick on the show so he can tell everybody about all the things that Rumble has coming up. Which, uh, it seems like Rick has a lot going on, man. And that's very, very exciting. So, Rick, whenever you're ready, big guy. Oh, oh there we go. Whenever you're ready. But Rick is lots, lots happening. Busy doing the... You ever, you ever seen that? Like, there needs to be a GIF, and I'm sure there is, of somebody like just coding incredibly fast, and then smoke coming up. That's, that's how I imagine Rick's day is. Just... Mm. Rick says, 9-1 sounds good. Put me down as a tentative. I don't do tentative, Rick. I don't do tentative, buddy. I do lock it in. Lock it in, Rick! All right, 5-4, here we are! The 5-4 loop is over. Yep, oh, oh god, uh-oh. See ya. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Need to check with my boss. <laughs> the other one, my wife. Okay. Well, you're gonna be at work anyways, Rick. <laughs> Lock it in. Oh, what a jump. All right. Nine one. I like it. The promotion of a lifetime. <laughs> of a lifetime. How are you gonna get the word out if not for side scrollers? Up. All right, man. Jerry says the five four loop ends and then dies. That's right. Because once we're done, we're done. Let's go. Uh -huh. Yo, what a sh nah, that's pretty good stuff right there. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Whoa, crap. Mm -mm. Man. Yeah, yeah, Rick, it's during, during work hours, my man. Come on. Be all right. All right, so Rick, why don't you give everybody a little sneak peek of what you got going? Okay, so I got three. Give everybody a sneak peek of what you got going on, man. You got playlist I saw on the horizon? That's good. Playlist is great. It's exciting to hear. All the good stuff, man. Oh, shoot! All right. I was just telling everybody, Rick, about how how the goal, something about 10 minutes ago, you can go back and watch, about how the goal is to sign a deal with Rumble. Like, we're not looking some, like, mega, mega, God damn it! Sorry, Rick, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> we want to sign some deal, some deal with, with Rumble. So we have to deal with all that nonsense. So we can say what we really want to say. Oh! CEO! With a $300 rumble rant. Says I was gonna wait till after you beat this, but you clearly need more practice. God! Get to your corner. Get to your corner. Watch it. God. Well, there's that. $300 Rumble rant. See yo, you just wanna wait till me, bro. Holy crap! Amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Give, give it up. Give it up. For CEO with the $300 Rumble rant. Sending me back home to level one. Are you kidding me? 
Is this the loop? Are we doing the loop again? Is this really what we're doing? Gosh. Dan Vass says, what happened? What happened? Dan, you can't leave. You can't, you can't, can't leave, Dan. You're not allowed. You can step away for two seconds. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. You can't step away. It's been well established. And now we go. J Ray says, CEO's gonna keep this going till Wonder. <laughs> what till Mario till Mario Wonder? <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope. Oh my gosh, let's go. Alright, anyways. But welcome on out, everybody. If you guys just pop it in. Closing in on 3,000 follows over on Rumble. That's exciting. Just past 3,000 subscribers over on YouTube. Ah, crap. Damn. 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 Uh, yeah, over on the brand new Side Scrollers Plays. Over on over on the YouTube. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. You guys over on Rumble. Do you guys like having everything in one one channel, or should should we do do all the gameplay stuff on on like side scrollers plays over there? Because it's pretty easy to make channels over on Rumble. So I don't know. We'd love to hear your thoughts. You guys watching on Rumble, you guys get to get to help decide. There's Starscream throwing up throwing out them uh, big old. Hey, you know what? Hold on. I got a question. Rick, you still with us? I got a really important question. I got a really important question. Two big, two big important questions. You know, kind of hop on in every once in a while. You know, in and out, in and out of the chat. He's, he's a busy boy. Busy boy. Question number one. Rick, product man, over at Rumble. If you're still tuning in. Product number, number one. Gifted memberships. ETA. Question two. Question two. Who is the most... Or not who is, but what is the most number of, number of paid subscribers on a channel on Rumble? All important questions. All important questions. Just curious. I want to know who we got to beat. Damn it, I didn't need to jump into that thing. I thought I could maybe tip off it. Mm -mm, cannot. We're back on world one, doing the loop again. After CEO came in with the massive $300 rumble ramp. Paul says, gifted membership ASAP. Yeah, man, that'd be huge. I wonder if they're holding off, you know? Because they committed to giving 100% of memberships. Oh, I'm just curious. I wonder if that has any 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 uh, any thought into into what they're why they're doing it or their timeline on it. Pastor Dave says. Just got done watching your earlier video of side scrollers. Enjoyed hearing your love thy neighbor talk. Well, thanks, Pastor Dave. Yeah, man, it was um, it was a really good conversation. That well, it was really a, a good speech I heard. And just for those who didn't get a chance to watch side scrollers today, which I encourage you to go watch the podcast, is that the you know the last little bit. I'm probably gonna slice it up, and I'm probably gonna put it on social media. Um. Because, look, at the end of the day, we're all like, you know, we're all a bunch of jerks, right? Everybody in the history of the world is a bunch of jerks, right? And there are things that you do that are out of characteristic for you, right? And I, just like anybody else, they I get sucked into the nonsense, man. I get sucked into that crap. And I need your help sometimes sucking me back out, man. Um, but 
look, I'm not, I'm not looking to make chill, positive content or anything like that. But I do want to be good to people, right? And I don't like to be sucked into drama. I, I want to live my life. I said this many, many times. I want to live my life as drama free as possible. And I think, you know, the love thy neighbor idea is a, is a valuable one, right? It's a very valuable um, sentiment. And it's one that I heard this weekend, and it was a good reminder, you know? Good reminder. That's all. Zip says, also, pray for your enemies, the Christian way. I said, I... I I don't know. I, I, so I'm not. A, I'm not a huge like religion guy, right? Like I said, you 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 believe what you want to believe. Um, you know, but but for me personally, you know, I think for me, it, like you go back and you look at the old Ten Commandments, and they do a pretty good job of covering a lot of the stuff, you know, like. Pretty good job. So, <laughs> well, there we go. Oh. Yeah, Lee Neo says, just don't try to force it on others. That's right. I don't, I don't care. I don't care, you know, what you guys believe. Just just don't tell me how I should think, you know? As Paul says, I'm a, I'm a huge believer. Uh, and treat those the way you want to be treated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? And um, I think that's a really good way to live right and uh but sometimes sometimes you fall down and you make stupid mistakes right and i'm like anybody else yeah. like anybody else so that's all that's all that's all the uh what the conversation was about it was about you know just that conversation resonating with me specifically in the online space and that's you know I said, that's not to say I'm not, never going to ask anybody hard questions because I think that's part of kind of what I do best. And not even hard questions, just asking people good questions, right? Um, and sometimes you get hard answers from those things. Dang it, another, missed another one up. But, I don't know, I, I, just, I just hate getting sucked into this, this snarlac pit of nonsense. I said, I said the other day, like, I just... After Wednesday's stream, where I just kind of like sat there and like antagonized and was like, a I, I don't know, I looked and I was like, God, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to like, it was, you know, I used this analogy before. It was like being, it's like going out the night out, you know, you're having fun, you're drinking a lot. Oh, I'm having so much fun. And the next day you totally regret it. And I did. Not, not that I regretted it, but I just want to be better than that, you know? So I think, it, I think it's important for you to, to, I think it's important for you to recognize those things, you know? He says, we get it, Craig. It's not like you shot someone. No, I did not shoot anybody. There's a lack of bullets. I saw this guy. This guy was like, you got, like, all these people think they have, like, all this dirt on me online. It's hilarious. Like, legitimately hilarious. They're like, you got fired from your gun, from your gun job. You got fired from this? It's like, what are you talking about? Like, I've, I've been fired one time in my life. One time in my life. And that was from Rooster Teeth. And it was like a mutual thing, right? So, outside of that, I've left every other job I've ever left. Um, oh, there we go. Mike says, so we had evil Craig for one day on Wednesday. And back to boring Craig, I guess. That's right. Good old boring, Craig. Sorry, Mike. If I'm boring, well... Oh, God, I got it. Nice. Even, even while it's big. If I'm boring, all right, that's fine. I'll deal with that. I'd rather... You know what? I'd rather just be Craig. Just be good old Craig, you know? But I think that, you know... Maybe we'll look back on, on Wednesday's stream and be like, that was a pivotal point for side scrollers and kind of the, the way we did things. Maybe. Maybe not. Jack says, I love Evil Craig. <laughs> yeah, I know. E evil. The thing is, oh, listen, to be clear, I think Evil Craig is really funny, but also really stupid, right? It's ridiculously dumb. Um, 
Evil Craig was like Evil Craig what's what is what is said what everybody else was thinking. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, in the most stupid internet way possible. If that makes sense, which I, of course it does. Whoop. Whoop. There we are. Bowser. Bowser. You. Bowser. Yup! There we are. Nice. <clears throat> just says, it's always better to be peaceful and neutral. And sometimes in your life, you just gotta throw hands. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you just gotta throw them hands. Oh, man. I know that some people are like, I want you, I like it when you're salty. I know. I know. I know. I know you like it when I'm salty. When I'm a mean man. That's not really, like, that's not who I am, you know? It's like it is. It's mostly peaceful. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Good old mostly peaceful stuttering Greg. I still, I still have no idea how to get that over there, by the way. Oh, 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 oh man, that was awesome, not gonna lie. Oh, crap. I thought there was a one up there. I don't remember how... Uh-oh. I thought I had triggered a one-up or something, or a... a triggered a, a, a loop or something, or a secret. Devin says, Craig, you and Dan were so funny last Friday. I nearly pissed my pants. Oh, look. We, hey, we found our thing. We found our spot. Nice. Nearly pissed my pants. Dan's inappropriate and embarrassing questions. Listen. I appreciate Dan's inappropriate and embarrassing questions. So much that on Friday, I will be asking Dan Vask inappropriate and embarrassing questions. I've never had never had the opportunity. Never had the opportunity to uh, ask Dan Vask a series of unfortunate questions. I never had that opportunity. Maybe on Friday we will. Maybe. <laughs> Texas. You're good people, Craig. I enjoy watching your content. Well, thanks. <laughs> well, thanks. I do my best. I try to be good peoples. People will tell you I'm otherwise, but those people are hurt. I think that's that's the one thing. Going back to the game attack days, right? I, I will say this. Sean and I disagreed on well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Sean and I disagreed on a whole lot of anything, really. I mean, we're, we're both pretty cool with each other, but just you know, I can't help people's sanity. Um, but Sean, Sean got like Sean got one thing really right, which was there are people who come into your chat and they just want to be jerks, and if you just be like, "Are you okay?" Right, like. Sometimes people are like, no, I'm not. And you, you, it's not that you break them down, but you let them know it's all right, you know? Like, it's okay if you're not feeling okay. It's okay if you're not happy, you know? And I think that's, like, really important. Really important, you know? But, like, people who say those things, who are online, who are, who, like, put a target on me or anybody, they're hurt. They had something bad happen to them. Like, they need help. You know what I mean? Oh, crap, I missed it. Like, they need something to help them get, get past whatever pain that they're dealing with. And it's important to remember those things, you know? Because people don't just act like that for no reason, right? I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, 
At least most of the time. There we go. Man, we're rolling, man. We're back at it. Elite Neo says, peaceful Craig, evil Craig, and such. All these, all these new alter egos. Chili Dog is right. Hurt people, hurt people. That's right. That's right. And that's the one thing to like keep in mind is that that is very true. Hurt people, hurt people. You know, and it's a it's a continuous cycle, and it's really sad. Really sad. Just as some people are too stubborn to admit they got they got a problem, instead try to tough it out. It just makes things worse. I think that there are times where you absolutely can tough it out. Um, but I think there's also times where you need to reflect and realize that it's okay to not necessarily. Oh shit, am I? I guess I gotta be small here, don't I? Sure do. Um, okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. This guy's here for a reason. There we are. Let's get let's get small. Let's get small. There we are. There we go. But do I gotta wait? Maybe I don't need to get small. Maybe. I, okay. Maybe I gotta go back down. There we go. We're starting over. There we are. Waiting for that ding. So you actually do have to be small to advance here. There we go. Nice. There we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's all sorts of people who just try to like take, take others down and they will watch anything, say anything, and depending on their thought process that day, you know, they will go out of their way to either identify with what you said or um, it'll validate what they say or it'll, or whatever you said is invalidated, invalidated them. Man. So, uh, Jerry says, I like controlled chaos, like seeing Craig reset. It reset, if, it's funny as hell. But actual chaos and causing drama, I see no reason called for it. Right, right, right. I hear that. There you go. Look at that. Oh man, that's that was a solid 14 coins right there. That's a it's a pretty high level right there, man. Pretty high, pretty high level. Static Blue says we need to give ourselves, um, we need help. Or, we need help sometimes, but we should take time to go somewhere. To deal with yourself. Don't take your problems to the streets. Don't take your problems to the streets. Stop taking your problems to the streets. Take your dance moves to the streets, man. That's what you need to do. Take those sweet, sweet, sweet dance moves to the streets. Outside of that, I don't want it. I don't want it. Get, get your problems out of here. <laughs> get your problems out of here. I don't want. I don't want to deal with your problems. <laughs> get them out. Get them out of here. Oh, this is nice. The well-read mage came in with a raid of 16 over on. Twitch. Let's go, YouTube and Rumble. Everyone, welcome everybody. Popping in over on, uh, over on the Twitch side of things. Well, Red Mage, welcome on out, friend. Appreciate that raid graciously, and uh, congratulations on your growth. I don't know if, uh, well, the, the growth of your channel, not the growth on your back. Uh, but uh, that's awesome to uh, awesome to hear. I think last time you raided, you raided quite a while ago. Um, very cool to see. Sixteen, great friends coming in now i'm unfortunately i'm not actively managing the uh, twitch chat today because i'm live over on youtube and on rumble at the same time but um just know that i do greatly appreciate that and if you guys would hit the follow button over on over on uh twitch that'd be great i'd love to get to know you a little bit i stream here in the afternoon playing whatever it's good stuff variety streamer of, of life oh, that's awesome man that is great Bane says, it's sad we can't watch some of the old Game Attack videos anymore. There were some good ones. There were. Yep. But they, they wanted nothing to do with me. I'm the devil. Like, that, 
They wanted to clear that existence out of here, man. I'll say that. But I forgive them, you know? It is what it is. I got the ones that I needed, so I'm good, you know? I got the ones with my dad in it and, and uh, all that fun stuff. So, you know, everything that was important to me, I got. The trip to Greece, the Greenland trip and stuff. So, Greece says, play Elden Ring sometime. If we, if we were to do Elden Ring, what does that look like? Like, yeah. what does that look like? Elden Ring. Like, are there ways for you guys to tinker with me and have fun? Henry says, Snorefest is what it looks like. Dude. <laughs> Snorefest. 80 hours. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe not. Snorefest. <laughs> Snorefest, you dumb, dumb. So I, I, I imagine, like, Henry saying that and then slap me on the back of the head. Snorefest, you idiot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Like, Biff. By the way, I watched uh, Back to the Future this weekend. Back to the Future is always on TV. And Back to the Future is always awesome. No slaps in here? Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> you butthead. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny to just think about. I love it. Red says you should have Adam show you the way of from software games with us. Well, you gotta remember, I'm 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 actually quite versed in, in in from software games. I mean, I I have played through Dark Souls one, two, three, and uh, Bloodborne, I believe, all on stream. I mean, I'm 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 pretty good, but I will say this. Playing through Elden Ring with Adam, and like Adam playing, and me just being like a Dumbo. Oh, what's this? What's this? I think that'd be pretty fun. Hey Dan, speaking of, speaking of fun, Travis is like talking about the retro game police, and he's like, "You should, you should write tickets. You should have tickets written." By the way, taking the hit on purpose so I can fall down here. Be small. Uh oh. Shoot! We should have tickets written for like things that bad things. I'll uh we're gonna we're gonna kick around some ideas. Shoop! Uh oh, oh no! Nate says if you play 3D.game heroes, yeah man! 3D.game heroes is awesome. I I never uh, I didn't get very far in it. I remember I mean, that, that, that's for the uh, PlayStation 3. I, I, I own it. I know I own it. Um, great game, man. Damn it. <laughs> but it'd be fun to, to write some tickets. CDI says, what if the invest write tickets for you throughout throughout the week if you're, if you're streaming retro? <laughs> that's funny. I like it. But I think uh, so. This Friday, I don't. I don't think we've said out loud what it's going to be. But I challenge you to beat the arcade version of Street Fighter. Ugh! The arcade version of Street Fighter Two, and I got some funny ideas for that man. Write some tickets for you. I knew there was something that we could do there. But Travis, like, put it together, man. It was good. It was good. Ah, uh, oh, crap. There we are. <laughs> CDS is not fighting street. No, not fighting street. Street Fighter 2. Anyways, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be fun. We'll allow you guys to write some tickets, maybe. Whoa, baby! That's some tight stuff right there. Whew, man. Nice. Okay, we got 
Big hits. Got to get this over here. Oh, that's good. Yup. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, man. The Starstream says, can you imagine a hard reset on Elden Ring? Oh, gosh. Just playing a game for like 80 hours. Sorry. Start over, you dummy. Just says, you're going to play the new Mortal Kombat when it comes out. You know, I don't know. Um, it interests me more than Street Fighter. And I had this realization. I, I, I may have talked about this on Sad Scrollers. Or I think I did. But... I think I'm more of a Mortal Kombat guy now. I've been a Street Fighter guy my entire life. But I think I'm more of a, a Mortal Kombat guy. Just kind of kind of interesting, you know? I've always enjoyed the gameplay of Street, Street Fighter more, but I don't know. I, I think I'm, I've kind of made that transition over to the Cool Kids Club. Yup! Yup. Oh no! Oh, what the hell is going on? Craig, stop sucking! <sighs> Shoot! You know, I was interested in Street Fighter 6 until I played the demo. And then the demo was like, ick. Ick. Mm -mm. Come on now. Stop sucking. Stop sucking. It's okay. Pros make mistakes too. Yeah, we're, we're doing our best here. Dan, I was giving you a nice beat to go off of right there. Go back and turn that into a song. Boom, 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 boom. Whoop! Oh no! <laughs> God. Ah, crap. Piccolis Miguel says, Craig, you should, you should, you need the goggles here too. You need the goggles here. You're too used to them. Right, I know. I'm going to die. Oh, come on now. That hammer brother is, is uh, working my ass in the worst way possible. That sounds really gross. Okay. Duck jump, duck jump, duck jump. Uh, high jump. Mm -mm. Starscream, you think what the hell is going on? Starscream says, "What's the top three greatest movies ever made?" Ooh, that's a, always a fun discussion. Shawshank, there we are. Shawshank, definitely up there. I haven't seen Barbie yet. <laughs> I have yet to see Barbie. <laughs> Yup! Oh, shoot. Hold it on, baby. Hold it on. Let's go. I heard Oppenheimer's pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Shawshank's definitely a top three, right? I think we, we can all agree on Shawshank. Level five, here we are again. The loop is real. The loop is real. Ooh, Brett has a good question. What's better, Terminator 1 or 2? Oh, man. I think, I think Terminator 2, right? Terminator 2 is better than Terminator 1, right? I think just... Not the whole, it made more money thing. I don't know, maybe it just kind of comes down to the type of movie goer you, you like to watch, or you like to watch. Henry says, The Rock, Cage, and Conroy. Oh man, welcome to The Rock. Welcome to The Rock. Welcome to The Everybody in the chat, welcome to The Rock. That's my, that's my Sean Connery. Welcome to The Rock. That's, I, I, can't, I can't get the Sean Connery. Welcome, welcome to The Rock. <laughs> God. 
Welcome to the walk. <laughs> I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that at all. Welcome to the walk. Yeah, double one up. <laughs> Losers whine about that. That's right, Elite Neil. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, man. That's right. That's a great quote. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> welcome. Wel welcome to the rock. <laughs> what are we even doing? Oh my god. I need I need to look it up. Hold on. We're on five one, five two. There we go. Hold on. I just I just gotta play it. I just gotta hear it. Where is it? Where's where's the line? Shark Shark Hungry did die, didn't he? Yeah, he died. Let's see. Here we go. Welcome to the rock. Oh, I wasn't even I wasn't anywhere close to him. I didn't sound good at all. Welcome to the rock. Oh my god. Are you are you kidding me? One fifty two, hard reset, set at four hundred now as Henry Davis comes in with a three hundred and fifty dollar direct donation. Simply with the message Carla was the prom queen. Carla was the prom queen. Freaking amazing. Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, we'll just have some fun time playing a little Mario Lost Levels today. Once again, you guys decided. You were like, yeah, let's 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 make this happen. Let's do the let's do the hard resets. That's fine. You guys made this happen, and here we are, ready to go. Just having a fucking banger of a time over here. I'm just trying to get. <laughs> oh my god, Henry Davis, thank you very much. CEO, thank you very much. G2's in the chat. Sounds like we're going for a ride. Sounds like we're going for a ride. Hey, I'm playing as Mario. Crap. Pickless Miguel says, today's the day. Welcome to the rock. <sighs> Shysters. Henry, thank you. Just, I mean, just, just massive. Just massive. Just ridiculous. Shaker with the three dollar and fifty. Oh, geez. Sent direct donation. Shaker, thank you very much, says, You see, Craig, hold on, you gotta look at the big picture. You gotta grab life by the lips and, oh, oh here we go, I got you. Oh, I got you, I got you, here we go. 
We'll read this as best I possibly can. By the way, I had a killer start to that right there. Oh, double one-up. Double. Yes, that's awesome. I got a ton of one-ups. You see, Craig, you got to look at the big picture. You got to grab life by the... You got to grab life by the lips and yank it as hard as you can. I'm down 11.3 11, 11 pounds in th for three weeks ago. Nice. Let's go, Shaker! Shaker, I love hearing your, your updates on your weight loss, man. That is great to hear. Shaker Maker coming in with that $3.50 direct donation. Down 11 pounds in three weeks. Is this, the, is this that keto, big boy? Hey, stay strong. After that, that first two weeks, it's all water. Mm -mm. Dude says, with the $1, Rumble Red says, if you get reset again, it should be two levels since the extra money from the one from the 300 and 350 resets of 150. Next overflow will be 150, which means we have a 300 overflow. Thank you, dude, for keeping track. Dude is the accountant on the channel, keeping track of everything that is happening, apparently. Dude, thank you for, oh God! Son of a gun! Starscream says, if you, in your best Sean Connery voice, <laughs> you should say, you should have mailed it to the Mox Brothers. <laughs> Was that good, Starscream? You should have mailed it to the Mox Brothers. <laughs> God. I'm... Uh, I, that's one I, I can't do. Can't do it. Can't do it. Just says, I tried keto once. I thought I was going to go insane. Nah, man. It's good. It's good. Shaker Mitch says, gotta, gotta keep sticking to it. Burn off what I can. Exercising time. Hey, Shaker, keep going, man. I promise we're with you. We're with you. I love hearing your updates. Love hearing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ridiculous. You guys just popping in over on, on YouTube. Hello, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the uh, hit the subscribe button first and foremost. Number two, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Number three, no, that's it. That's all I ask of you. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna bring the, I'm trying to bring this there you go I'm trying to get that guy out of there unreal well it's the third time looping already the hard reset the hard resets I'll tell you what guys you guys are just silly just silly absolute silliness how says I don't cut out cars, but I limit them way more than I used to. There you go. Woo! All right, nice. Shaker is sweaty with that exercise. Have you been exercising too, Shaker? I thought about doing exercise, some exercise streams. Because I am, you know, the world's greatest fitness ambassador. Wouldn't it be fun? to just create a fitness channel, Side Scrollers Fitness. Maybe in time, maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. Oh, there we go. Henry says, so will this game go until completion or just a one-time spinoff? No, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go till completion. We're gonna go till this game is done. I did not, st I did not start it that way. I did not start it that way, but you guys have, uh, you guys have said, hey, this sounds like a good time, doesn't it? Does it, does it sound like a great, sounds like a great time. Man, the, oh crap, boopsy boops. Great time, great time. Mm -mm. CEO says, what helped me most was stopping all things related to potato. Huh. I mean, that all makes just way too much sense. It's the carbohydrate. It's tough, man. I, like, bread? Bread's great. Bread's good. Come on, you know bread's good. Like, bread's insanely good. And I know there's potato bread, there's regular bread. My, my biggest, biggest weakness? Definitely chips. Snackables. 
total weakness. Just a big old stupid baby when it comes to that stuff. I, I need crispy things in my mouth. Yes, I said it. Crispy things in my mouth. That's what I need. That's what I desire. That's what I want. I'm gonna land up here and get another one up. What? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? It was that with what? What? No. Tater tots, chips, baked potatoes. Henry says, remember when we thought foot long subs were a diet? <laughs> probably could probably could have played 15 pounds lighter without that lie. Wait, Henry, when you say play, what does that mean? Video games? <laughs> what did you play? What sport? Because I want to hear about this, Henry. I want to hear about it. B-ball B-ball in college? Henry. Basketball? Surely be. That's awesome. Division two? Oh man, hell yeah. Dude. I want to hear about it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What position? What like everything. Were you good? It's okay, you can say yes, you can say no. Oh damn. Oh crap. That's awesome to hear. Full ride? SG. Okay, so, so New New Hampshire. New England. New England. Lots of injuries, but hung in there. Oh man. So like, dude, what? Tell me more, man. Like, did you Do you have any good games? I love hearing about this stuff. You know, I, I think at a certain point you can be pretty honest with yourself, right? Like about about your athletic ability. I think I was a I think I was a pretty good athlete. Pretty good athlete. But not a not a not a premier athlete, right? And I think I was good enough to get by, but my work ethic is what did it. And when I was at my at my most athletic, I was a very good basketball player, but not a great basketball player, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Sure it does. You're smart. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, and I think, it, you, you, you know, I'm like, I'm 42 now, right? Like, I can look at myself realistically. I'm not going to, like, go and <laughs> set the world on fire in basketball or anything. But I will say this, man. I would love love to get one more, one more little, uh, one more dunk down. One more dunk. Just a good old, like, just, just right over the rim. I'm not talking about, like, slam, jam, hold on to the rim. Just maybe one more dunk in. I think, I think if I lose, like, 15 pounds... I think I can get there. Oh man, that's awesome. You're recruited, man. Don Beebe of the Buffalo Bills recruited me for the coach. That was his bro. Man, that's awesome. Good for you. You are right, dude. We need a Hadouken in there, don't we? Hadouken. Let's go. Mm -mm. They were child heroes with my assistant coach. Childhood, oh, childhood friends. Okay, nice, 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 nice. The BBs. Yeah, dude. Good stuff. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Love to hear that. Bam. I'm trying to think, like, so I, you know, Slam Ball came back recently, and you guys know that, and it's actually gone again. <laughs> it, it had its month, and then it had its run. And it's, it was actually really fun to kind of see it back. Um, and I was doing, I did, like, a little post-game show with, with uh, my my old coach and and this guy Sam, who is a um, who is a uh, you know he really wants to be involved in it. It's pretty cool, you know. Like I'm excited for him. Um, he actually did a really good job of hosting. He like he did a ton of research. He's I, I thought he was pretty great. Um, but was doing a post game show for that, and that was fun. It was neat to see it return, and it was you know nostalgic. And I was gonna go out there for like a day, but the schedule didn't line up for it. Um, but I, you know, a year from now, like the whole idea of slam ball is going to change a lot, but they are, they are going to come back for another season next year. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, but that was, you know, slam ball actually was not my most athletic, um, 
I was most athletic after slam ball. I was, that was when I was my best at uh, any sort of sport. Jumping out the gym after slam ball, man, that was crazy. God says, "How did I miss the post game shows?" Uh, we did them over on over on. Uh, oh damn, we did them over on Twitter. I just put I just posted them on my Twitter feed. That's it. There we go. Nice. Oh, get it. Let's go. Then I got eight lives. There's no way you ain't stopping me today, baby. You ain't stopping me today. Let's go. Uh oh. But um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh shoot. So yeah. Um. I don't know. It, it'll be it'll be cool to kind of see what happens. So. <laughs> Henry says, "Could not dunk a lot in game though." You, but you could you could dunk otherwise. Nice. Nice. Huh. Anyways, it was fun doing those. I, uh, my, my old slam ball coach, his, his buddy was coach of one of the teams that made it to the semis, which, you know, out of eight teams, like getting to the semis, not like that major of an accomplishment, but it was still cool, you know, getting to get together with a team. I will say this, man, people... Those who don't play sports, or those who have never played sports, don't understand the value of sports, right? Um, there's so much value that is gained just from being in some sort of athletic competition. You know, the idea of the competition, the idea of of um, lear learning how to deal with other people, conflicts. Uh, how to deal with teammates. There's all these life skills you learn, which on the surface, you know, they all sound, they all make sense, but you don't know until you've actually been a part of it. I encourage everybody at your old ass age to still be a part of a team. Gina says, I miss my hockey glory days. I still play, but I've had, I've had, uh, had to make a lot of adjustments over the years. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's one of those things, man. The um, like my hip has started to hurt, like an old ass man. Come on, baby. Oh, where'd my where'd my guys go? Um, so I, I need to like figure out what's going on with that. It's been going on for, like the last three months or so, but I've actually been playing like old good old man basketball recently uh, until my hip flares up and it's like oh I don't even know if it is my hip pretty sure it is but I don't know I don't know but these are all things that you deal with man this is blood sweat and tears son like Ric Flair woo let's go we're already on level 3-4 man we're blowing through this thing man let's get over here all right, we're back on world three again. It's got to be. I, it's kind of interesting that you need to be small to get to that point that I just went through. You, you have, you have to be small to go at the bottom there. Interesting. Uh, another interesting part of this game, which would be very uh, intriguing is what if there was a no coin run? Surely there's like a, a, like you have to get blocks like that you just saw, but what if you could just, what is there? Is there a way to get no coins in this game? Dude says gaming can also teach the same, the same life skills. If you play the right games with the right people, this is true. This is true. Nicholas Miguel says, doing sports taught me that a little pain while exercising can prevent a lot of pain from being inactive and unhealthy. Ooh, man. That's deep, deep cut right there, Nicholas Miguel. Love that. I, I, um, that's something that I admittedly, like I play ball a couple times a week, but I need to do, I need to be more active. I've been, with, uh, with school starting back up and such. I need to uh, get, find my way back into back onto the elliptical, get some steps in the morning. But it's tough, man. When you work at your house, like 
my immediate reaction when I wake up in the morning is to go into my office. And it's like, oh. It's, it's kind of the worst, right? Like, it's kind of the worst. It really is. And I know that sounds like really stupid, but for those of you who have worked in an office setting, but also worked at home, can you guys relate to that? Because, I don't know, it, it's just kind of one of the, it's, it's a pain in the ass. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna go check everything. Ugh. Henry says, pick a ball can be rough, noobs get you hurt. It's exactly, it's exactly how my career ended, man. That's exactly how my career ended, playing with a bunch of idiots. Stepped on a guy's foot, rolled my ankle, man. Tore, tore two minutes, tore, two tore ligaments in my left ankle. Slagan Nenner says, I wake up two minutes before I have to go to work. <laughs> Slagan, what do you do, buddy? Idle Villager says, yes, I work at home and I'm basically in the same spot all day. Right. That's kind of how I feel, you know? Like, I would love... And I, I don't really know what's preventing me from this. I mean, maybe just taking the chance, but I would love to do more IRL streams. Um, some more exploration stuff. You know, even if it's just around like Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, I love seeing things. I love traveling. I love, and like just getting out of the house is like really important to me, man. Solid says, get a, get a treadmill desk. I've had a treadmill desk. Um, I definitely, like 100%, I'm one, like 1,000% going to get a, um, get a standing desk. And if I could stand like while I'm streaming, uh, that'd be outstanding. That, I'll be outstanding. Let's... Bell, not what's going on with you, buddy? Welcome on in. You guys just popping in? Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all greatly. If you guys haven't yet, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Whether you're watching over on YouTube or on Rumble. Did you see the 10 lives that I have so far? I'm dominating this game. Dominating. Just absolute sheer domination. If you recall last time, we got to world... Uh, I think we had... It was nine days of Mario Lost Levels. I think we finished on the ninth day. It was just silly. Just absolute silliness. Well, I don't think we're gonna do it this time, but here we are. See, you says, shame me to come to Rumble, now shaming me to use my standing desk. Well played, that's right. You get your ass up, CEO. How dare you watch me on your patookas. <laughs> Patukas, let's go. Oh, look at you, Goomba. Now you're dead. Sorry about that. Can we, can we give it up for creative uh, words for the for butt? <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Pentel Parker says, I'd love to do some more marathon streams. You mean like actual running marathons? <laughs> I actually do have an idea for a uh, marathon idea. There we go. Nice, Scott. The timing's different on this one than it is on the on the NES version, right there. I actually, yeah, I, I think it'd be fun to do some uh, some marathon stuff. Oh, geez, just take it. There we go. That's okay. Take the hit. Take the hit. Oh God, what happened there? What the hell? Here. Heretic says, one of my favorite streams was when you did the old Screw Attack office location tour. Uh, yeah, you know, um, God, that was a long ass time ago, wasn't it? Um, very niche, very niche, but, uh, was fun. It's, it's fun to kind of do the bit, the behind the scenes stuff. I know that, um, our first office, the Screw Attack office was... Um, there's now actually somebody in it, so that's pretty cool. You need to see kind of what they, 
what they do now. There we go. Get on through there. Hoppa, take that hit. So I can fall on down. Take this. Almost back to world five. Let's go. Yo! Yo! There we are. Oh man. That's okay, take the hit. Get get going, get through. Yo, yo. Oh, nice. Woo! Man. Hedrick says, my point is that you did something like that where you were you're touring around somewhere. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be really, really fun. Um I would love to take you guys on journeys, you know? Like do an IRL like get a get one of those IRL backpacks and do a road trip or something. That'd be fun. I'd love to go, you know, honestly, I'd love to go hang out with the guys at Geeks and Gamers and uh, do some IRL stuff there. Um, do some stuff at, oh shoot. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, I'd like to maybe do a, do like a Universal stream or something. Universal Studios. Be good, man. But I need to get those backpacks because just streaming off your phone is not quite good enough. Heretic says, side school is European tour. Oh, man. That'd be fun. Be fun to go. I would like to do something. Oh, that's nice. I would like to do something. Oh, let me get you. Come on. Come on back. Come on. Ah! I would like to do something like we did um, for Greenland at Game Attack. That was really pretty awesome. That was a, a really amazing experience. And uh, being able to take you guys there and, and we, you know, we obviously couldn't live stream it, but being able to create like a, a documentary afterwards, very, very fun. Very, very cool. Back on world five, man. The world five loop. <laughs> Sorry, I'd, like to, I'd like to get another office to do the shows in, in person. Maybe uh, ways off, but it's still like, uh, but it'd still be really cool. Yes, one quadrillion percent. Uh, I would love to get an office and do our podcast out of a studio. Um, now, keep in mind that Labs and Trav are, are very far away, right? Um, but I would love to do the interviews in person. If we can bring people in and um, bring people in and, you know, even just fly them in or whatever. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. But all that's, God dang it. I'm telling you. Um, but all that stuff costs a lot of money. Office space is expensive. Sets are expensive. Um, and I do think it adds another level of uh, professionalism to the show. But maybe that's something that, um, you know, that we invest in, right? Shaker Maker says, you have a Discord. Yes, we absolutely do, Shaker Maker. And you should be on it. You absolutely should. It's just hard to do with Adam since he's in Sweden. Um, yeah, but I mean, Adam's only on on Wednesdays now. So, you know, like it's, it's okay. You could, you know, we're all remote. We're all away from each other. So... Now it says, take the show to VR land. Uh, 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 VR land. Yeah. All right. We're there. Level five. Welcome to the rock. We welcome to the rock. We <laughs> welcome to the rock. Here we go. <laughs> the music. <laughs> All right. Five. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Now we're talking. There we are. Now we're talking. Love that. All right. We're in great shape. Oh. Nearly just fell off. 
Lonely Koopa says, I swear you, you could make Lost Levels a full-time job and not bother with anything else. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, fortunately, some good folks have been very supportive. Um, with that said, I want to make it easier for folks. Oh, geez. To... Uh, to be supportive. So maybe we do something where it's built into the bar instead of just like a one-time dono. I hate the word dono. 5-4, we're about to we're about to finish off. This is gonna be great. Here we go. Crap. This is a tough job. Oh baby, that's a really tough one. And we're we got it, we got an out at four o'clock, so this is definitely this would be a great place to stop as soon as we uh, beat this. So we'll be able to start on six six one to start. Tomorrow, we're just gonna we're just gonna bypass this. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Whoa! Quick jumps. There we are. Now I'm remembering. Oh man, those baby jumps. Those are fire right there. All the way through, lined up perfectly. Yo! Nice. Here we go. I think there's a. Yep, we can hop on down there at the bottom. Whoa, that's a good precision jump right there. Shop! Yes! Boof! Oh, baby. Level five uh, completed. Uh, if I can be a little uh, Mario like our friend Charles Martinet, who's no longer the voice of Mario. What a great place to stop! Level six! Woo! Just because, just because, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna guess you're damn right. I'm gonna get up here. Hold on, get out of here, you dummy. Wait, where's my one up? Wait. There we go. Oh, there we go, man. What do we got? Ten lives, something like that. Hell yes. I told y'all. Oh no! Oh crap. I like his little little Hammer Brothers hat though. It's good. I thought I never actually checked there. Never actually checked. This looks this looks and feels so much different. Shop! Nice. Now we're gonna get here and that's okay. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Good place to stop with nine lives. Bam! Oh, this is, look at all these save points I have for other games. That's funny. Create saves point. I'm gonna save over you, stupid, stupid level. I don't know. Yes, I would like to overwrite that data. Yes, I would like to end the stream there. Yes, we are starting on level six, starting tomorrow. What a glorious occasion this may be. Hold on, save and quit. Boop. There we go. Excellent, guys, what a fun day. Thank you guys very much uh, for, the, for the fun, for the fun, man. Henry says, 152 levels, crazy. Yes, that is insane, insane. Um, give it up for Henry Davis. Ridiculous. Give it up for CEO. Give it up for Shaker. Give it up for the well-read mage who came in with the massive raid over on Twitch. That's great. I want you guys... Oh, just, <laughs> I want you guys to have an excellent day. I want you guys to come back tomorrow for Side Shows at 11. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on this channel uh, shortly after. Thank you so much for your support today, guys. Let's continue on. Uh, I will catch you guys up. I'll catch you guys later. And uh, I guess we'll go until we finish this because why not? Have a good night, guys. Remember, people are going to try to keep you down. Don't let them. You guys got a goal. Go get it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.